third flag. Here is the replay. Eddie oh. Lawson into Krosnoff. No, that is actually Stefan Johansson there. Uh, Johansson. And he was moving out to pass another car, which looked like it was Gilles DeFerrin. I don't think he saw Krosnoff. He couldn't have seen him. And he moved over. Boy, he got up into that fence. That's his rear end of his car that ended up in front of Ribeiro. They work with Jeff Krosnoff uh, still in what's left of the car, and I have not seen that much damage to an Indy car in a very long time. Apparently a right, the right rear tire blowing possibly with debris on that newly surfaced track this year, but a minute piece of debris is all it takes at these speeds to puncture a tire, cause it to lose air pressure. Brayton at this point was just taking this fifth car, the Team Menard garage, out for a spin. 30 minutes later, 37-year-old Brayton was driving his backup car when the accident occurred. Brayton from... Tragedy at the Indianapolis 500 on Friday. Jovi Marcello of the Philippines was killed during a practice run when his car spun out and hit the wall. Marcello suffered massive chest and head injuries. He was unconscious when he was pulled from the car. Marcello was just 27 years old. 